Okay, 10 days ago, I made a video saying things I hate about the DLC. And there's quite a few things that are disappointing. I did overall in the video say that I love the DLC. And this video is just going to show you the underrated parts of the DLC. How good it actually is and how you guys should be more excited for what's to come. So I'm going to show you some amazing things about this DLC. And how I now have more money after the DLC than I did before the DLC. Which makes no sense. It never works like that. And yeah, stay tuned to the end where I actually show you tips of how to make easy money. How to shortcut a lot of these missions as well. These new Dax missions, they give you 50k, they're easy, and they give you so much XP. The Merryweather reinforcements, you get 200 XP per soldier you kill, and there is a lot of them. So if you're low level, this is really good. And stay tuned to the end where I do show shortcuts for these missions. The hangar, I know it's not an addition to the DLC, but they did increase the payouts and they increased it by three times. Now it was pretty much useless before because one cargo was 10k. But now you can get all your friends to go do a cargo and it's 30k per cargo. And actually right now it's double money for this week, so it's 60k. <laughs> You know, the fact that Rockstar saw an error in this and peop not that many people doing it because it was only 10k and they tripled it. Big progression that excites me for this DLC. I'm pretty sure all of us have already taken action with this, but it's just sorting out your phone. This is like, now we take it for granted now that we got used to our small phone menu. But going through that phone menu every single time to call the mechanic. I know some people say press right on the D-pad this amount of times. But then when there's a new DLC com that comes out, like you have to do a new mechanism because there's one contact added. But now you can just get rid of these contacts. It's so much easier. That's something that's made life so easy. And yeah, I, I know a lot of us know, but we should be grateful for this. Something they didn't have to do. Now, we should not forget what is coming. We're going to get a 50 car garage. Hey. Now, I'm excited for 50 extra cars. Like that's um, a crazy amount of space. But it is kind of retextured 10 car garages, which, you know, it's okay. It's still retextured. It looks, still looks a lot better. And maybe it might be different, but from the pictures, it looks like retextured. Now, don't forget the taxi business as well. The taxi business. It's going to be so different. We don't have any type of RP experience. You know, we can, if we want to do anything like golf or darts, we have to enter a building or a mission. But now, apparently, we can go and do taxi missions. Just like you can do on story mode where you go up to a client and then I think the average payout is like 2,000. But the more missions you do after each other, which you can grind being a taxi driver, which is pretty cool, the more money you get. And the more missions you do, the more stuff you unlock, like liveries. It is a weird and bland thing to add, but I think people like us like weird and bland and just at least there's some sort of RP experience, something new until that oppressor comes and blows you up. Now you guys have probably heard me talk about ray tracing or not shut up about ray tracing because I go on about it. And that was, you know, last week. And still to this day, I'm finding new things in GTA that just change the experience. Now I'm speaking so enthusiastically about this because still there's people out there that are in performance RT settings instead of fidelity settings. I know a lot of friends that don't just want it because it's 60 FPS and fidelity is not 60 FPS, but you still get great reflections. And it's just different when you're in, when you're at night and you're driving, you can see the reflection. When you're in daylight, you can see your car reflections on certain things. This is a whole new experience. Now, the one big issue with this is the fact that PC users don't get this, which is crazy. Now, why not introduce it to a game base that already had ray tracing? People have ray tracing cars, they spend a lot of money on them and you only offer it to consoles. Now, I'm sure that down the line, they're going to add this to PC. Maybe they are working on something and, uh, you know, they're trying to refine ray tracing so that when it comes on PC, it's perfect. And now on the topic of PC and all this bad news you guys have, let me shed a tiny bit of light on it. And yeah, Flush Family is actually seeing a very big increase in PC car meets. Like we've seen a lot of activity. So if you do want to join, I will leave a first link in the description. You know, you can join, have some fun. There's actually a lot of nice people on PC and you guys have text chat. So that's one up on us as well. You guys can be friendly in text chat and talk with each other and just have vibes, something we can't do. <laughs> but I kid you not, I'm not joking. This ray tracing makes colors look different. It, it makes chrome rims look different. Obviously, reflections look different. Your buildings that you walk into look different. The buildings inside look different. You know, the reflection on vases and flowers and stuff. The reflection of bumpers. The reflections of fountains. There's many, many that I've forgot about. Every single day, I'm still finding something cool about this reflection mechanism. 
Now, let's just say we got a bit of information before the DLC release. Let's say we knew that this Brigade 6x6 was coming out and you could put a ram weapon on it and it could take up to or more than 40 rockets. That makes it the most armored vehicle in the game. You guys are probably straight away going to expect and you can start a business from it, which you do have to pay eventually for. But, you know, you guys are going to expect that one 6x6 to be over 2 or 3 million, right? The fact that you can have an acid ladder bin it and then when you do start your business, you have to pay 750k. Surely this is an expensive vehicle, but no, they give it to you. They give it to you for free for completing missions, which you get paid for. You get paid for those missions as well. And they're so easy, the missions. They're a bit frustrating. Some of them are quite long and frustrating and then you have to keep snacking up. But this is like different. Rockstar don't give things for free like that. But in this case, they did. And yeah, I do think you should purchase the business upgrade. But again, I will explain everything at the end. Now, I am normally lazy and I normally don't want to grind. But you're not really grinding if it's not grinding. And some of these tips will help you out so much. Because it saved me so much time and it's made the process more fun than grindy. Now, I'm guessing most of you have been and visited Dax and saw the cutscene. And done the six missions that you need to do before you can unlock the 6x6. I do have little tricks that I used for those six missions, but they're not so effective. So there's no point really wasting time of this video to explain them. So once you have the 6x6 and you've done the missions to get the 6x6 and you've sourced all the materials, you will get a prompt to start a business, the Acid Lab business, inside your 6x6. It costs 750k, but it's worth it, trust me. Now, once you've done that, you will need product to make your business function and you can just buy that over the phone or you can go to Mutt over here. Now, that's not where it gets interesting. It gets interesting once you've done 10 DAX missions. Once you've done 10 DAX missions, you can upgrade this and then you can make 500 per load you sell. And it takes about two hours to fill up in the acid lab. So yeah, every two hours you can make 500k. And the best thing about this is it's AFK. You can be in a car meet, you can be playing with your friends online. And as long as you have product in your acid lab you're making passive money you're making afk money here now probably a lot of you are thinking i don't want to do these 10 dax missions it's going to take a long time and it does because there is 50 minute intervals where you have to wait 50 minutes before you can start the next one but there's three main dax missions i've only had three there's one where you have to go to the merryweather operators and you have to blow them up there's another one where you just literally get high and that's really it you just collect the product contaminate the water get high and you can go afk after you've got high like and just let your carrots die and you'll pass that mission and then there's the annoying one where you have to terminate the crops which is the one that you can't really skip now the merryweather one even though on the map it does tell you to go destroy the merryweather you can if you want if you find that fun if you find destroying the merryweather it's just the same as so many older missions or you can go straight to the actual merryweather base where it tells you to go next so instead of destroying the Merryweather transports, you can go straight to the base. So this is a really good tip. You can just go straight to the Merryweather transport. There's two locations where I've seen it on the map. So it's here where I'm shooting in this video, like in the dock area, or it's actually up in Sandy Shores. It will save you a lot of time when you just go straight there and not destroy all the transports because that could take a while. When it comes to the crop mission, I would just say try your best. If you start doing tips like I do, which is slow down, you might actually crash the plane and it will just take longer. You can do this in two swipes though. When it comes to killing enemies, you can just blow up the whole place. Don't worry, the planes will respawn. Then when it comes to the weed farm that's in Polito Bay, once you've done it, you could just fly into the ground and then you will reset all the way back to Sandy Shores. It's just a lot quicker than flying all the way back. So when starting this mission, you should just start at the one in Polito Bay, then blow yourself up, then come back and then do the other two. So you've done your 10 DAX missions and you visited the freak shop and upgraded your acid lab, which is done when you're modifying the 6x6. Now you will start earning, you'll get a max of 335k and you need to sell this in a full lobby. And you're probably daunted by that, like it's a full lobby, someone might kill you. Now the great thing about this is if someone does kill me, I just close application. Don't switch new session, don't go into story mode, close the application. Now you might lose a spec of product, literally like three four minutes worth of product you can just wait three or four minutes and then you'll get that back and that's the worst case that's if someone destroys you but all you do is go to uh, the drop off point and there is two different missions i've had from this and the one that you go on top of the drop off point from the parking lot i've got this four times out of the five times i've done this i will explain the next one after but it's so easy just go on top of the parking lot and make sure your bike is aimed towards the ramp so you're ready to escape don't shoot or anything just yet and then right after you're aimed for the ramp, just shoot any of the cop cars. 
This will make you skip having to do the drop off. And then just fly off the ramp and then lose cops, which should be nothing new to everyone. And that's it. If you want to make sure you're off the radar, do that uh, through the CEO because it's three minutes long. And then you can call Leicester as soon as that expires. But that's it. It's so easy. I was really surprised with this. And it's the reason I still do these missions, even though I've got a lot of money. And that's it. You can see I get 1 million in that, but you will get 500k. This was double money on the first week. So you can either get this other mission, which is like, I got it one out of five or one out of six times, but it is quite long and I did actually get blown up. You have to throw these little newspapers inside the basket. It's quite fun, actually. I did, like, I tried to trick shot these and I did take quite a while and it did get me blown up in the session. Some guy came and killed me. So you can close app if you want and then try and get the mission that I just shown, which should be the case because I got it, you know, six times and then I got this one time. And I actually don't even know if there's any more missions because they're the only missions I got. 